Joseph Scampita, the father of innovation as far back as 1919, defined innovation as the introduction of new production processes, new products, new materials or resources, new markets, and new competitive organizational forms. Yes, innovation was a concept worthy of exploration more than a century ago, and it is just as relevant today as it was then. Simply put, innovation is really a process of discovering new and creative means to introduce fresh, value-adding experiences to our daily lives. When innovation is successful, it revolutionizes the economic structures of countries for the continued creation of new processes, new systems, new goods and services. The formulation of new structures, however, can only stem from creativity, the use of imagination or original ideas. It is the ability to use information, material and skills to produce something that did not exist before. In education parlance, creativity is greatest of the higher order thinking skills according to Bloom's cognitive domain. Therefore, by virtue of its name, the genre of creative arts is populated by individuals who continuously produce new or original work, which allow the society to feel, think, reflect, analyze, and appreciate itself on an individual or collective level. In preparation for this year's Innovation Week, I spent some time with contributors to the creative arts and got a better understanding of their processes. I needed to get a first-hand feel for what our creatives experience as they navigate the complexities of designing a product to fulfill a need in the fashion and festival market. I wanted to feel the emotions that went into the production of rhythm and songs that express the mood of our people. And to further partake in the translation of that music into the movement and performances that we can all participate in for enjoyment and expression. It is amazing watching the creation of a visual representation of our thoughts or reflections of our society. These experiences have led me to a space of self-reflection and self-discovery, and I am even more deeply appreciative of the acts of creativity, the innovation displayed by those I encountered. I better understand the role that we all can play, recognizing that we all have creative skills that can be applied to whatever areas we choose. I too will be delving deeper into my creative self. The juxtaposition of this reflection and these experiences against this year's theme has given me an even greater appreciation for the call to action. Spark your creativity, accelerate your impact. I therefore invite you to join the Department of Innovation this week in showing appreciation to our creative sector while simultaneously discovering your own creativity. Given that the color orange represents creativity and innovation, I ask all St. Lucians from all walks of life to proudly wear a touch of orange on Friday, April 19th in recognition of the 9th SDG or Sustainable Development Goal, Industry, Innovation and Infrastructure. Everyone is invited to the annual National Symposium on Creativity and Innovation to be held that same day, 19th April, from 9 a.m. at the Constitution Park in the city of Castries. Just over a month ago, collectively as a country, we recommitted to moving Duvan Assam, building a nation for unity, resilience, and creativity. In our 45th year of independence, as proud St. Lucians, let us all use our creativity to accelerate our growth as a people as we celebrate world creativity and innovation.